Right, folks, a rant. Some of you might be getting fed up with me rant. All right, and get fed up with me. But this isn't a rant of a normal thing. This is a rant about Leicester City yesterday, right? Got beat, didn't we? Got beat. Got fucking took to... We got hammered, didn't we? Let's, let's be honest about it. We well and truly got caught with our pants down, right? Now, fair play to Nottingham Forest. People go, oh, we're not mother that you're local rivals. Well, they're fucking local rivals because you live 10 mile up the road, right? You're local rivals. Whatever. And fair play to Forest. Total respect. You went out. You knew you were going to win it. You beat the FA Cup holders and you fucking humiliated them, which is what it's all about. That fan that went on the pitch who had a go at the Forest fans, you want to fucking grow up, son. You want to fucking grow up. Um, and the, the other thing is, I, I, if he gets banned for life from Forest, he's not going to be too bothered, is he? Because he's not going to want to go there again. And he should be just banned from fucking football. Anyway, it, just a joke. I honestly don't understand. Um, people were set, tweeting me saying, Ooh, for Leicester fans attacked a pub in Nottingham where people were eating with kids. Well, I, there's no good fucking tweeting me. What do you want me to do about it? What the, what the fuck am I going to do about it? Right? Yeah, obviously you want to take it out on somebody. Don't fucking take it out on me. I was sitting at home on my fucking settee watching it. There's no point in having a go at me. What do you want me to do? Jump in the van and go, hey, come on, lads, let's fucking... No, no, I can fucking do about it. Yeah, it's wrong. Fucking wrong. What do you want me to do? But anyway, I've just been and recorded the podcast with Aidy and Chris. I saw him. Leicester Fan TV. And... Um, he says, have you seen the news that uh, parties, that the, the players were partying until 5am in the morning? Last night or this morning? No. What do you think you're fucking partying? It turns out... Leicester City stars, Hamza Chowdhury, Danny Ward and James Justin, allegedly... Parted until 5am following their fucking humiliating 4-1 FA Cup defeat to Nottingham Forest. The Foxes, who were the current holders of the competition, suffered a shock exit. Was it a shock exit? Because I wasn't a particularly shocked, to be fair. Uh, Forest knocked out Arsenal in the, first, in the previous round. Fair play to him again. The manner in which the defeat came about, it was added to the embarrassment. With Leicester royally played off the park by a team... In England's second tier. James Justin, uh, Danny Ward joined Hamza Chowdhury, who did not play. Does that make it right? Does that make it fucking right just because you didn't play? Um, who did not play a part in the game. Didn't appear particularly bothered by the defeat, though. The trio have been caught on social media, apparently partying, into the, uh, partying long into the night following their battering by the hands of Forrest. It's not a good look. Brendan Rodgers will be absolutely fuming. He's fuming. I tell you, he's fucking fuming. Fans, fans, fucking fans are fuming. What is it with these fucking footballers where they seem to think they can play like a load of dog shit and then go out parching? I'm not right. People are saying, oh, they're not working now. They're not working. They've finished work. They were humiliated, right? They were humiliated. It's about respect of the of the club. If it was tonight, fair enough, go and have a party. I'm not bothered. But to go out and have a party, why am I fucking ignition on? To go out to a party after getting royally fucked up the arse like we did yesterday is a complete joke. You show a total lack of respect to the fucking players, uh, to the the public, the paying public, all right, after a, a fucking pandemic where the world has been shut down, money is tight, people are trying to pay fucking electric gas and God knows what else, food on the fucking table, right? Footballers don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Oh, I'll still take my fucking £75,000 a fucking week. I ain't bothered. 
and they go out and have a party. Yeah, granted, they weren't playing. They're not pl working today. They should have been in today. Brendan Rodgers should have said, right, you're all in at fucking seven o'clock in that new £80 million fucking training facility that's just over there. Just fucking over there. It's just it's fucking over there. Right, it's over there. Right, and I'll have you all in at fucking six. No, I'll have you all in at six. Let's get you all in at six and let's get you all running around and putting some fucking effort in. Because that was shambolic yesterday. And then to go out on the fucking piss and take the piss out of fucking supporters. And I don't mean those fuckers who went fighting and anything. Or jumping on the pitch and trying to fucking hit Forest players. Because I'm not including them. But the ones that go down to the fucking King Power and put the fucking... All the ones that went down to Wembley last year during this fucking so-called pandemic fucking shit... Right, where people have been shut down for fucking months, can't do anything, and you're all out, you're not all out, but three out of the, that's only the three we know, that's only the three we know, how do we know the others weren't fucking out, now if it were Forest players out on the piss, fair enough, they're celebrating, but no, show some fucking respect. Because that was just complete shit yesterday, and I just honestly can't believe that a player would think, I know, let's go and have a party. And let's face it, in this day and age, you're going to end up on social media. You're going to end up on fucking Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, fucking Twitter, Yahoo, Getter, wherever fucking hell it's going to be, it's going to be there. I'm fucking fed up with it. It's Nine Madison when he went and fucking partied when we were supposed to be playing West Ham last year. You know what did he do? He went out on the fucking piss. And I'm not just saying this for fucking Leicester fans either. I'm saying this to all these other fucking fans. Not other fucking fans, but fucking fans where players go out on the piss and they just take the fucking piss out of us. I'm fed up with it. This is one of the reasons why I've not been doing any for fuck's sake. Because I'm fed up with footballers who just generally take the piss out of the fucking population of this world. <sighs> Why do they do it? I'd, I'd honestly start fucking... Uh, do you know what, right? I'd have a fucking wage cap on all of this. And then if it's too much, right? If, you, if it's not enough wages, well, fuck off to France then. Go and play for PSG. Go and play for fucking Monaco or play for fucking Juventus or go and play for some right Barcelona and Real Madrid and all that. Go fuck off abroad. Fuck off abroad and play football and take their money. Because at the moment, you're taking all the people's money who live in this fucking country, you're taking their fucking money and you're taking the piss. You're taking the piss. When people buy Sky and fucking BT, right? It's hard-earned money. Where they've been to work and they've got, like, feed the fucking family. But no, you're taking the prize money out of there because you all think you're fucking something special. Well, you're not fucking special. You're a bunch of fucking wankers. And it just winds me up. I hate it, the fact that footballers just seem to think they're untouchable. Ladies. <laughs>